Welcome back guys and girls to your second HTML5 and CSS3 Canvas tutorial by ifectioner.com If you would like to download the code for this tutorial or the graphics and the logos then you can do that on ifectioner.com So let's continue our discussion uh, up till now we have made a page and we have introduced a canvas element using the canvas tag and we have uh, used an internal cascading style sheet to uh, style to uh, change the background color of our canvas to yellow and to give some border to it so now we will be using the internal javascript file to introduce uh, the graphics in our canvas right now we have drawn a canvas but to draw uh, something on our canvas or to import the pictures uh, in our canvas we will be needing a scripting file and for that purpose I would be using JavaScript so I go to my canvas.html file and I just zoom it out and then I introduced a script tag in under the body tag and I just write script and to close it I write slash script right now I do not need to tell uh, to my page that it would be a JavaScript because by default the client-side scripting language for HTML5 documents is JavaScript so we do not need to tell it and now I will be introducing uh, some variables in the JavaScript So to introduce a variable I write var and then my variable name which is can yes we can variable can equals to and then I tell it to go uh, that you need uh, to refer to this canvas element so I say document which is uh, the HTML document dot and then I use a function get element by IT and which element do I need uh, to assign to this variable that is an element with an ID of canvas so I say new canvas after that I need to use the context which uh, you can consider it as the paintbrush with paint elements to draw something on my canvas via JavaScript so I introduced an other element another variable which is jctx JavaScript context and uh, I say that you need to get the context of this canvas and now this canvas is being referred by can therefore I write can dot get context which is a method and to get the context of 2D that means that we would be able to draw in 2D in two dimension right now 2D is the standard in HTML5 and uh, there are 3D uh, elements uh, and we can draw with 3D but those uh, are only vendor specific, specific. so there are no uh, standardized uh, context in 3D for HTML5 but we hope that it would change in the future 
and now I need to tell which color would I need to fill in my element and uh, I say that jctx that context dot fill style and if I do not uh, give any values to the fill style then it means that it would by default be black so I just say that let let's it be black and now I need to draw a rectangle for that I would be using fill rect method so I say jctx dot fill rect and now I need to give four values to the rectangle and those values uh, are the values of x axis y axis width and height the x axis is basically the horizontal axis of our canvas it starts from zero and because the length of our canvas is 400 it goes to 400 so it's 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 2 200 and to 400 and the y axis is the vertical height of our canvas and it starts from 0 to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and so on to 400 so we need if I need to draw a rectangle over here or somewhere over here then I need to calculate the pixels which would be around 10 pixels on the x-axis and 100 pixels on the y-axis so we would be drawing a square over here so I give the value of x-axis to be 10 pixels y-axis to start it at vertically at 100 pixels what would be the width of our uh, let's suppose square I say it, the width would be uh, 150 pixels and because I want to draw a square I say that the height would be 150 pixels and I change the spelling of height to this and y axis to this and I save my file go to my browser refresh it and now see that we have got a we have drawn a black square on our canvas which is 10 pixels from the x axis and 100 pixels down from the y axis and the width and the height of our square is 150 by 150 so now let's draw a rectangle of pink color to do that I use the same uh, property which is jctx dot fill style equals to and here I can give the color name RGB value HSLA value or other values to color my rectangle so I say that uh, the color would be FF 00 FF and now I would like to draw a rectangle with the fill rect method and it would start at around 10 plus 150 on the x-axis because I have already drawn a rectangle that is uh, square that is 150 pixels wide on x-axis plus 110 pixels uh, which is equal to 160 pixels so I say that this rectangle should start at 165 pixels on the x-axis and let's say 
100 pixels on the y axis because I want to draw a rectangle which starts from here, goes over here, and it draws a pink rectangle. So I say that uh, it should be 150 pixels wide, but its height should be 100 pixels. And I close it and with semicolon save my file I can go to run and launch in Chrome or I can just go to my browser and press the refresh button and now see that we have got a pink rectangle on our canvas and you can experiment with these uh, numbers and uh, try to uh, get hold on how to calculate the x and y axis and it would help you in the, in the future. Guys and girls, thank you very much for joining me for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we would be using an external cascading style sheet and external JavaScript files to draw lines and strokes on our canvas element. See you in the next tutorial. Take care. Bye-bye.